Sometimes you can try so hard at something. Sometimes you can be so, so prepared and still fail. And with every time you fail, it's painful, it causes sadness. And especially as I saw last night, it causes disappointment. I've often said a man's character is not judged after he celebrates a victory, by, but, but by what he does when his back is against the wall. So no matter how great the setback, how severe the failure, you never give up. You never give up. You pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, you push forward, you move on, you adapt, you overcome. That is what I believe. Just keep growing. Just keep glowing. Just keep shining. Just keep winning. But never, ever, ever give up. You need to continue to fight. No one's going to tell you to get in the fight. No one's going to tell you when to throw a left, right, or jab. But life will throw obstacles at you. People can give you advice. People can tell you what they went through. But you can't give up. Anytime you see an obstacle, which I call a tree, you are the answer, which I call the axe. Anytime you chop a tree down, it takes more than one try. It may take 100 maybe 200, 300, 400. But you can't give up after one try. Keep going. You're gonna have to fight. Some days it may feel like you can't make it through. But you just have to take one more step. You have to think about what got you over yesterday. And if you feel like you don't have much life left, let me be that voice. Let me be that fuel. Let me drive you. Let me remind you that inside of you is something different. Inside of you is a uniqueness that was designed to be unleashed on the world. This is your time to shine. This is your time to grind. This is your time to pick yourself up and win. And gentlemen, if you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream are finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams of a people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, you got to be hungry. Because giving up is just not an option. But when you grind, you won't regret going through everything you had to go through. Take this shot right now. This is the perfect moment for you to go after all your dreams. Somebody needs to hear the words of your testimony. Somebody needs to know how you made it. There's always gonna be people trying to distract you. But if you find yourself listening to people, the murmuring, you'll find yourself going three steps back instead of two steps forward. You gotta rise up and realize that you're a king. Realize that you're a queen. Change your surroundings. You need to realize that you are important. You do matter. You can't be okay with being mediocre. You have to want to be great. You have to realize that you don't have any other opportunities waiting for you if you're not willing to work for the first opportunity that's been given to you. You don't have a lot of time left. So there's no reason to complain. You're not even in the position to complain. You have to figure out that there has to be another idea about you 
And you have to understand that there has to be something even greater and more challenging waiting for you. And if you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to understand the principles and the possibilities that you have within yourself, then everything that you are thriving for, everything that you are hungry for, will soon come to an end. Now I'm not here to preach to you about this. I'm here to let you know that there are things that are going on around you right now that are far greater than your complaining. See, sometimes you have to go through the darkness to get to the light. Sometimes you have to go through hell to get to heaven. We all have struggles in life, but the greats, the one percenters, the high achievers, the next level residers, put they fist up, put they dukes up, and continue to fight. But if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or gulf, sickness or pain or body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you'll get it. A lot of times when people are not hitting their money goals, they're not living the type of lifestyle they want to live, they sink into a depression, they worry about how they're going to pay their bills, but they don't take action. So this is what I want to challenge you to do. Like if there is more, if you know that there is more for you to do, if you know that you should be showing up in a bigger and better way, being worried is not going to do anything. Having a pity party is not going to do anything for you. Being depressed is not going to do anything for you. You've got to be willing to get up. You complaining about so much, but yet you show no action. If you could trade places with someone right now, and the person that you are trading places with may have it just a little bit tougher, then you have it going on in your life right now. So many people are suffering from so many things in this world at this moment. But yet you're complaining. So many people in this world right now wish they could trade places with you. But yet you're still complaining. You don't have that right to just give up. And so today I want to challenge you to not get stuck in your feelings. Don't be led by your emotions. Be led by your desires. Be led by your dreams. Get up and do something today. Your future self will thank you for it. They continue to swing. They continue to stick and move. They understand that from time to time, they will get hit, but they will never quit. They will never give in because they understand losing is not an option. The only option is to win.